Hello, today I'm going to introduce Radiolink new aircraft SU-27. Here is the packing box. Unbox it. Unbox now. Here are all the parts and accessories. And two manuals. One is for SU-27 and one is for TAS transmitter. SU-27 comes with a TAS transmitter. Here it is. And users can choose other radio link transmitter and receivers to control SU-27. Optional radio link transmitters include TAS, TAFB, T16D, 89s Pro, and 8010T. Here is the accessory box with all the other accessories inside. Here is the charging and update cable for TAS transmitter. Here is the hook and the spring for transmitter to be self-centered. Here are vertical tails of SU-27. And here are some parts, include fiber tape, a propeller, and spare rod angles, and a screwdriver. Here is a reading charger CM210, and we can use CM210 charger to charge the 2S LiPo battery. Here is the 2S LiPo battery, it comes with SU27. And here is the fuselage. When you receive SU27, you need the four parts here. SU27 fuselage, vertical tails, TNS transmitter, and the 2 sleepo battery. For assembly, you just need to install the vertical tails, which is simple. The tail with colors face outward and insert the vertical tail until you hear a click. And same way for the other side. Now the assembly is done. And install the battery. Fix with the bed. Power on TS transmitter first. and push the throw stick of the transmitter to the lowest position and then power on the aircraft. After power on SU-27, keep it in a stationary state because the gyro of the flight controller will perform self-test. The self-test is done now and now move the joystick. The control service moves, so the connection is successful. And there is motor lock for the flight controller by MDB. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7, the switch here. And push the switch up. The motor is locked. And there is no throttle when you push the throttle stick. Push switch down or center. The motor is unlocked. The motor emits two long beeps, means the unlocking is successful. And you must push the throttle stick to the lowest position when unlocking it. Otherwise, the unlock will fail. So the motor is unlocked. Push the throttle stick. And there is response. And the right switch here is used to control flight modes. SU-27 has three flight modes. Push switch down. It is stabilized mode, which is suitable for beginners, and push the switch in center. Gyro mode, the advanced flight mode, push it up. And the manual mode with no gyro involved. Hold it in the hand and there is no gyro. Attitude calibration. BAMDB needs to calibrate the attitudes to ensure the balance status. It is recommended to lift aircraft 
with about 20 degree angles for beginners to ensure smooth flight. And I place a box under the nose, like this. Then push the left stick left and down, and the right stick right and down, like this, to calibrate the attitude. And the green LED of the flight controller will flash once means attitude calibration is complete. And attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once that it is complete with success. After the attitude calibration is done, test the surface and toggle the switch of channel 5 to manual mode. It is manual mode now. Then check if the movement direction of the aileron or tailorings is consistent with the joystick movement. Then I'll move the aileron stick to the left. And we can see the left aileron and tailoron lifted, but the right aileron and tailoron pressed. Move the elevator stick down. We can see all the ailerons and tailorons lift, which means the movement of the control surface is correct. When the movement direction of the aileron and tailoron is inconsistent with the joystick movement, and you can adjust the surface by pressing the buttons on the front of 1DB. Here it is. You can use a thin stick to press the button to adjust the surface. After all the tests above, you can fly SU-27 outside. And you can hold SU-27 in hand. Like this. And then push the throttle stick and then throw it. So that's all about the unboxing and setup of SU-27.